Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga video. This happens to be Episode 2, Chapter 4, Jedi Battle Free Play. Now, we actually already got the true Jedi requirement in the story, which was just a short 8,000. It might be more than that in the free play, but we've got some stud uh, attract red bricks and multipliers on to help us with that. We're also going to get all 10 of those mini kits. As you can see, we've got two of the three good bricks. So we're going to go ahead and jump for joy and head right into the old free play of Jedi Battle. Make sure you check off old Forlom as we're going to need some of his abilities for grappling and, of course, some of the terminals like the bounty hunter stuffs. And all right, here we go. Now, we want to remind you we have quick links down below in the video description, but these mini kits come rather fast. We're going to start off by switching to somebody with double jump like Jar Jar Binks. Hop up and grab the first one, me thinks. <laughs> The second jump, the double jump up there was kind of a funny angle, so I messed that up a couple of times. You might have noticed the edit, but it is right there. Just go ahead and jump up and snag it. Now, I did actually avoid all of the story-based gameplay right now. I am simply getting the collectibles. So at the very end of this video, we do have a little bit of a repeat as we got to come back and free all of these guys that are held hostage right now. But essentially, it's pretty simple. You just run around in a circle, and each time you come to a hero that is captured, there is ultimately it one, if not two, mini kits waiting right up top for you there. So uh, we got a little bit of a gap here. Quick reminder, we have quick links down below in the video description, but it's such a blink of an eye situation here that I don't think you're going to really need them. As you continue to make your way around to the right side of the area, you're going to see this weird, it looks like some sort of a speed cycle uh, or something made of silver bricks. Silver bricks. We'll go ahead and destroy them with somebody like Four Loms. Uh, well, he's got, what, thermal detonators? And we can go ahead and grab that red brick and keep on with the keeping on. Now, as we get to the next area where Obi-Wan is being held hostage, we're going to want to use the fools and go ahead and build up that, I guess it's a platform on the far right side. Then go ahead and jump up to that ledge and use a stormtrooper or Vader if you got him out. And we'll go ahead and watch these ramps go up and down. And we can swoop up not one, but two mini kits hanging out up there. So, woo to the who! We've got to grab two. All right, next up, we're going to keep on keeping on to the far right. As you can see, we've got some bricks just waiting to be built up. And they actually make a nice little ramp up to a hobbit hole. So, we'll go ahead and switch on over to an Ewok. And look at that. We've got inside and got mini kit number eight. Now, as you might have guessed, keep on to the right. This one is a little bit more challenging, even though it's super simple, too. We got to uh, build up the first brick, stack up the second one. Now, I made a little bit of a mistake here. I need to hop up and actually use the force on that spot in the back there. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the dark side or it's just showing dark side because I have... No, it's got to be dark side of the force. So, yep, because you can see that there's the light side, too, the, the regular, the good stuff. And then there's the bad stuff. But basically, use somebody like Vader on the back wall to go ahead and get those ramps in place. And then stack up the other ones up front. And booyah ka -show. Jump up and grab number nine. Last but not least, we're going to keep on with the clockwise right side motion. And as we uh, come to this couple of uh, spots, well, I guess it's more of a column there. That's, that's not really a spot, but it's a column that's got the last mini kit tucked behind it. So... Guess what? That is all of the collectibles. In fact, we have more of the story-based bits in this video than we did for collectible time. Now, I want to give a shout-out to, I don't remember who, but uh, quick shout-out to one of you viewers out there that actually recommended using the old Force Choke as it has come in tremendously handy, especially in this section here where we are just being bombarded with baddies, and we got to keep on a radian. Let me, let me. All right, uh, if you guys are still here, that means you probably want some advice or just are enjoying the video, and I greatly appreciate that. Uh, you saw a reminder just a second ago to go ahead and click that sub notification bell. There are a lot of you that are subscribed to us, but even more of you that are subbed and not have that notification bell right. So I'd appreciate it if you guys would look into that and maybe, uh, you know, upgrade to the notified side. All right, we are getting uh, a little bit more intense with each battle here. Uh, the droid cuz are real. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take out a bunch of them. I, I like the double jump and ground pound here. It actually takes out force fields and does some pretty dirty 
damage on these guys too. But there's also a power up in the back if you did not grab it the first time around, or maybe if perhaps it spawned again for you. I highly recommend swooping it up and using it because it does give you that invincibility for a short time, as well as it's supposed to give you an attract studs, which we have turned on now as well, but also a multiplier. But it's weird though because it, it, it takes the multiplier screen away. Um, and, and it doesn't show you that you have any multiplier going, so it's kind of weird. Now, uh, in this section here, I do recommend that you just kind of trudge around and look for the battle droids that have the red vests on. Those are going to be the guys you need to get, and if you see them, I recommend force choking them, as uh, there's so much pew pew going on that I, I just I feel like the force choke is the best way, because it grabs at least one specimen and kind of tosses them across multiple specimens, and sometimes we'll take out two, three, four guys, or at least knock them to the side and prevent them from being able to shoot at you. So, uh, Alright, we got that next section done. We've got three more red vests, and then we got a couple of those bluesies, not the good kind. Uh, more of a poiple, huh? Kind of a, a lavender. We'll go ahead and... Okay, so there, there was one of those bigger robots. The force choke actually kind of knocks them out for a second. So it does work minutely, but it won't finish though, like we need. So go ahead and choke them and then give them the old cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. Look at that. Two of those guys side by side. Thought the ground pound was going to work. Nope. No such luck. All right, now, hey, keep in mind, too, that we are going to keep releasing these videos uh, as often as possible. Basically, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays is our current schedule. As we get closer to the holidays, if we are still kind of on that and, and way behind, we still got like 20-something videos uh, for free play, and then we got 36 videos of the blue mini kits. So we still have over 50 videos left. And, you know, just looking at the time, uh, I certainly don't want to be playing this game into 2020. So uh, if you're watching this in 2020, that's great. Uh, we just don't want to be continuing to release videos for such an old game for such a long time. So we're probably going to ramp up the release schedule just a wee bit. But you'll have to wait and see. Now, uh, we also have a, an achievement guide that is currently uh, under wraps on our website. As some of you know, our website's kind of a mess right now. We're working on a fix, and we hope to have it done sooner than later. And who knows? Maybe you're watching this now, and it maybe is 2020, and the website should be all good to go. Uh, definitely check out happythumbsgaming.com, though, if you're looking for some tips and tricks and maybe some, you know, mini kit location, blue kit. Like, if we're not to the videos yet, you definitely want to check that out. However, again, right now, it's kind of a bust. So... Uh, we'll get back to that and get it fixed up, hopefully as soon as this weekend. And hey, uh, if you feel we've helped you out, or maybe you just like our content, don't forget to smash that like button, not only here, but on Facebook as well, because we do have a weekly giveaway. Oh no, the perfect deflect is actually ours. And now we're going to go ahead and stack up a bunch of chips as well, because we did get that true Jedi, but we got it in story. So we got a lot of studs here. Uh, we added those up, and we're going to get even more once all ten of these mini kits ring in. What spaceship do we got now? Oh, you guys probably know what that is, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, stack them up, stack them up, stack them. All right, we are going to have to buy a bunch of red bricks. We got the multipliers coming up soon, pretty soon, and we're going to we're going to buy each one of them every time we get them. But that's going to wrap it up for Lego Star Wars: The Complete Saga, Episode Two, Chapter Four: Jedi Battle Free Play. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you click that like button and don't forget to head on over to our social media pages. And of course, happythumbsgaming.com should be back sooner than later if it's not already. So, oh to the L, yeah, that's going to do it for me. As always, until next time, see ya.